Hello and welcome to RZSS Goes Wild, a new web series that's going to be taking you around the world through some amazing conservation projects from the comfort of your lockdown living room or wherever else you may be self-isolating. My name is Helen and I am the Conservation Programme Manager at the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, the charity that owns Edinburgh Zoo and Highland Wildlife Park. Like many of you, myself and the rest of my team are currently working from home uh, because of the coronavirus shutdown. And we know that people are getting kind of bored and claustrophobic, that they're looking for things to do, that they're looking for things for their kids to do. And so we thought this would be a really good time to share with you some of the conservation projects we work on out in the wild and bring them to you at home. When I tell people I work for the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, or RZSS, they often look at me a bit blankly until I say, oh, we own Edinburgh Zoo, and then they're like, oh, okay, right. So yes, we are a conservation charity that owns two zoos. But did you know that we also have a conservation department that's involved in 23 conservation projects in the wild? Some of those projects are here in the UK, focusing on native species, but we also work with projects all over the world. Over the next few weeks while we're still in lockdown, we'll be sharing a series of videos with you that showcase some of the incredible work that's supported by our ZSS Conservation Department and that's also supported by you whenever you come and visit one of our zoos. We'll bring you tales from our journey to return species to their rightful place in the wild and all the hard work, dedication and collaboration it takes to get them there. We'll introduce you to our wild experts such as our Wild Genes team, who are based at the only on-site zoo-based genetics lab in the UK. We'll show you the incredible work that they do here, but also the capacity building work they do for conservation genetics in countries like Cambodia and Nepal. And our vets, who work tirelessly to bring their animal health expertise to our wild species programs. We'll take you to some of the wild places we're protecting and introduce you to the partners we support in these places and the incredible animals that they work to save. We could never have achieved any of what we are doing without the support of the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland and its members. And you'll get inside information from some of the RZSS Conservation Department team members who are responsible for this work. Which brings me to an important point. When people visit our zoos, they're helping to save threatened species because a part of their admission fee goes towards supporting the work that the Conservation Department carries out. Unfortunately, at the moment, for obvious reasons, both our zoos are closed and we don't have any visitors coming in, which means we don't have that steady funding stream that we would normally have access to. But you can still help save threatened species. Rack your brains and think about any money you might be saving from not being able to go to the cinema or not being able to go out for a meal. And if you can, click on the link below and donate to help support the work that we do in the wild, saving threatened species on a daily basis. In the meantime, keep watching our videos if you want to see more of this, and this, and maybe a little bit of this, and definitely some of this. And make sure you don't miss any of our videos by clicking subscribe or following us on social media so that you see all of the content we're going to be putting out to entertain you. Thanks so much for watching, it's been great meeting you all and I will see you soon.